Rhonda Hain is our Strategic Alliance Manager at Autotask, and I'm also here today with Ian Van Rienen, co-founder and CTO of Center Stage. And now, I'd like to introduce myself, uh, Richard Akulian. So, who or what is Autotask? And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the people, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the product. And with that, um, I'm going to introduce Center Stage and tell you how we work with a great community of a lot of providers, but Center Stage is one of the best that we work with. Um, a little bit about us. Um, we have 40,000 plus users around the world right now. We also have 200 plus staff, and that we have offices in Beijing, we have offices in India, and we just launched in the UK. We're in Richmond in the London area, and we're very excited to be started over there. Um, we had an uptime in 2010 of 99.975%. And that has to do with the great 200 staff that we, re we present every day. We, uh, we just put out a major release, which has a lot of cross-browser in it, which I know a lot of people have been looking for. And now you're able to use Chrome, and you're able to use Mozilla for a lot of things that you weren't able to use before. And we do about 200 plus marketing events a year. And one thing we're very proud of is that we put 50% of the revenue back into the product. Um, here is a, a cool graph that, that's been brought to me by Steve Knoll, who is our technical product manager. And if you can see, it shows Autotask starting in 2001. And with all these other companies that came into the cloud in the following years, you can see that Autotask was a leader here. We didn't, we didn't, start, uh, we didn't start enterprise on-premise. On we, we were in the cloud from day one, and we're very proud of our 10 years in the cloud. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see in there that BlackBerry and all these other things came after us, and that's something that we really take pride in over here. And now I just want to talk a little bit about Autotask. It's an account management and sales ma management module in there, which is going to go in your Autotask CRM. You're going to be put in, able to put in your accounts, keep track of your contacts, and you're going to have a contact group manager in there, which is going to allow you to, to see who you're dealing with and what you need to get done for what clients. We're also going to help you deliver that service, and that's going to be your service desk, which is going to come up with your tickets, your workflows, your SLAs. It's going to manage your service level agreements, which is going to help you stay on top and make sure that your clients are getting what they need. And you're also going to be able to create projects. You're going to have tasks. You're going to have templates that you're going to be able to use, which will help you move through your service delivery quicker than you could before. Um, billing, every, everyone's in this business to get paid. I mean, we deliver a service, and we want to be paid for that service. So that's going to all flow through Autotask. You're going to have your contracts of all types. You're going to be able to put in exclusions. You're going to be able to bill third parties. And you're going to be able to track costs and expenses. And we have continual improvement, which is built into our system. This is going to allow you to send out surveys like we'll have at the end of this webinar, which is going to allow us to see how, how we're doing. You're going to want to be able to see how you're doing in your business, because this is going to help you keep, keep clients that you might have had some jeopardy with um, and you wouldn't have known about unless there was a survey. It's going to help you locate texts that are doing great work and locate, locate texts that are, are doing a little bit subpar and you need to work on that. And we're also going to be able to benchmark those with some standard questions against other people in your field, in your area, that are also using Autotask. And at any of those other 40,000 plus users we have, we're gathering a lot of great data here. And you're going to be able to see it all in one view. And with it all in one view, you're going to be able to to make sure that you can hit all of your goals in a day and you're going to be able to see these all in your dashboard. And with that, this is not Rhonda Hain, obviously, this is Richard Coolian, but you can contact Rhonda or myself and I will post my, my, uh, I will post my contact information in the box at the end. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Ian, um, one of our great partners from Center Stage, and he's going to walk you through one of our newest integrations that we're real excited about. And Ian, if you'd like to take the stage. Thank you, Richard. Um, good morning or good afternoon, depending where you're connecting from. It's uh, 4 o'clock here in the, U in the UK, and it's a sunny 4 o'clock for a change. Uh, first of all, thanks very much for joining us on this webinar, and uh, thank you, Richard, for the introduction um, and the kind words about Centra Stage. Uh, we are, as Richard said, a remote management and monitoring solution. We've been around for well, since 2006, five years now, um, we're a cloud-based solution as well. It's always been our strategy. Uh, we believe that uh, things are best served from the cloud. And uh, yeah, we're very pleased to uh, to be releasing this new integration with uh, Thought Task, um, which integrates the 
the, uh, the ticketing within um, within Centra Stage with uh, the ticketing within Order Task. And um, the purpose of today's webinar will be to give you an overview one of Centra Stage itself, since uh, I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't uh, either have heard of us or had a look at the product, but also to show you how that integration works and importantly what the benefits are. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about um, uh, Centra Stage itself. So we, uh, we're a UK software development company. We go based and founded here in the UK. Um, being cloud-based, so we do have customers globally. So we have uh, you know, a, a large presence out in Europe, North America, uh, in China, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. You may hear the South African uh, twang to my voice. Yeah, I was originally, I am originally from Cape Town. Um, and we, we talk about Centra Stage as being sort of the, the device management tool for the rest of us. Uh, and I'll take you a little more detail as to why exactly we say that, but it's all about discovering the devices out there, monitoring them, managing them, supporting them, and uh, importantly, being able to report on not only the devices, but uh, the, uh, the assets themselves, uh, the, uh, the activity that you've done within the, the, the particular customers that you've worked for, and also any exceptions that have come through the system. Um, so we like to think we're different because uh, we think it works out the box. Um, we believe it's a very simple, straightforward uh, interface and making it really easy for, for people to, to get familiar with the system and to get maximum value out of the system. Uh, we often tell um, our prospects and our customers often tell us that the great thing about Centra Stage is that um, you get to pay for 100% of it, but you also get to use 100%, um, which is not always the case, I think. Very importantly, we're a customer-focused company, um, and uh, and that's borne out by uh, our support forum and the requests for uh, ideas and new features that come through our support forum dominate our roadmap. We, we release probably every uh, you know, week or couple of weeks. Uh, we continually update, and you know, we follow continuous development, and we and we're continually updating and, and adding new features all the time. Just some of the people who use us. So you may or may not recognise some of the brands here, but. Uh, uh, people, for example, uh, like Best Buy, use uh, Centra Stage to uh, to push out um, new screensavers and advertising out to uh, devices in the in the stores. Uh, where uh, somebody like Wandsworth, for example, would use uh, the system to to provide remote support to schools throughout their borough. So we have a, a wide variety of uh, um, of customers, ranging from from IT support providers through to uh, public sector and also large. Uh, specifically in the retail space. So what does the integration offer? Well, first of all, the ability to, uh, to synchronize uh, your auto task accounts, your customers with an auto task with your customers in, uh, in the Central Stage platform. So if you, if within Central Stage and you create a new customer or a new um, a system within Central Stage and you profile as we call it within Central Stage, it automatically creates that new account for you within your auto task account. Likewise, assets are synchronized between the two, and uh, we have full round trip integration as well. Okay, I guess before I go into that uh, screen, then let's uh, let's go through the demo. Um, so, show you a bit about the product. I'm just going to share my desktop. Okay, hopefully everyone can see that now. So what I've done here is logged into um, to Centra Stage. Uh, the login screen, and this is the first, this is our landing page, what you, you, you land on when you, when you first log into the system. This list here would be, in order to ask you would see them as accounts, we refer to them as profiles, but effectively the list of customers that you support. So for every customer you support, you create a new profile, really straightforward. You can give it a name and a description. You find putting in the address details, that sort of thing, is uh, quite convenient to put that in the description so you can have those details uh, at hand. Um, and once you've created a profile, you can then drill down and have a look at, uh, at the information within that profile. So if I go, for example, through to this particular customer, I can see, first of all, there are eight devices. Four of them are online uh, in the security center. I can see that 25% uh, of them does have AV installed, um, and that uh, the two.